Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here and welcome back to some more Door Kickers. We're going to be going into the Ant Rock Inn this time. No hostages to worry about, just tangos to shoot. That is going to be another nice change of pace. Uh, all hostages all the time. Honestly, gets a little bit frustrating after a while. Uh, the number of times that missions end just due to a hostage that doesn't seem to know how to duck gets uh, a little bit silly. So, this map layout. Uh, what have we got here? We've only got access to two guys. Uh, that kind of makes me immediately want to be like a saltman up. But, mostly got... I'm assuming this is all clear back here. Like once... Oh, I can actually make that go away. Uh, yeah, so... I'm thinking we're going to do something where we'll have... Like one guy come down and clear out all this while another guy goes up. And then they'll sort of both come along as this is getting cleared. And then one of them will go in here and they'll meet back. Something along those lines seems legit. Um, who do I want for it, though? I guess the, uh, the assaults with submachine guns would make the most sense. Either that or two silenced guys. You know what? Since the... Um, like Reese there and where is my other yeah Reese and Karma, um, they both got levels on Tarek and Toke. We'll go ahead and put them in and see how they're able to do. Lock and load. Let's do this. All right. So how do we want this to play out? I'm thinking very first thing we're just gonna have both of these guys come up to like this corner and we're gonna end up putting them like on a go code I think before they move away here uh, that way if there is a firefight to be had out here uh, we're able to deal with it like that and then we'll just put both these guys on alpha here now once that has been done I'm thinking he's gonna go in do we need a flashbang for this? Probably not. I'm thinking we just go straight in. And we'll like tweak some angles as he does so. He'll go straight in. He'll clear. And once he's done that, he's going to walk up to this, kick the door in, step around, do a clear check. Something like so. And once he's done that, he's going to come down to here, kick the door in, step down, do another clear check. And again, we'll kind of adjust angles as he goes. Okay. So that'll take care of him clearing out that room. At the same time, while he does that, he is just going to walk up to here. And again, I think it makes the most sense for him to basically come around the corner and then stop uh, and once he clears that we'll have him walk back out of the room to say right about here okay. we're gonna make, want to make sure that if those doors are open that he's paying attention to it then once he gets past that he's gonna end up hanging out right here for a bit. And I think we're going to put both of them on Bravo here. So once Bravo goes, we're then going to have... I'm thinking he's basically just going to go all the way across here. Now, once he starts moving though, we're basically just going to do lots of pieing angles around, like so, in case any of these uh, well, he's got to check that door. Uh, if the door's not open, then he's not going to check into the room. So I have him step down, step over. But I still think he can just do a clear check from up here and it'll be fine. Uh, and then he'll move on. All of the other rooms have windows. I'm on it. Uh, so he should be able to clear through the window without too much trouble. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit dicey, though. Uh, go with that. 
All right. Uh, maybe something like that. Okay. That may go quite terribly, but uh, I want to at least give it a shot. And then once he's done, he'll look back so that if uh, anything does come out, he's able to clear that. So in Bravo, he starts going. At the same time, we'll have him start going. And I'm not really going to be synced up, though, which is a little bit of a problem. Although if all these doors are closed, it might not cause an issue. Uh, we'll see how things go, I suppose. He'll toss in a flashbang, walk in, check for clear, and then come down and around here. And why not up? Roger. All right. And then as he's going through the room, he's got to be paying attention to what's going on over here. Have him do something like that, throw in a clear check. And there you go. Now, the only problem with this, of course, if there are guys like in any of these bathrooms, we've got to come and clear them out. But I'd like to at least run through this plan and see if maybe this mission will just be really simple. So right at first, we come up. Oh, we do spot a guy down there. And down there. We alert them. And let's go ahead and go. Oh. That's awful. Okay. So he got shot through the window once he started moving. Hmm. I'm thinking... We'll just slow him down, like, ever so slightly and try that again. Oh, looks like there's always a guy down there. Oh, wow. Huh. And then that goes pretty dramatically differently with that. Alright, well, I mean, we've got to win this initial firefight. Uh, there's very little we can do about that. The only thing I could think is maybe... Yeah. Wow. Quite a lot of stuff happens right at this uh, opening thing. Let's try something here. I just want to have him slow down to the point that maybe they're both making it to the corner at the same time. Obviously, that's like exactly what Go Codes are designed for, but uh, all right. This time, nobody comes out to check what's going on. Okay, that did keep our top route alive, which is very nice. There wasn't anybody in that this time. There's nobody in that this time. Okay. Alright. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. So, here's what I'm thinking. We'll make this a clear check. And then... We'll have... This be Bravo. That way, they're kind of lined up here, and we can consider the stuff behind them to have been cleared. Clear. 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 Okay. Not spotting anybody this Alpha. time. Go. So this is going to be interesting if people start popping out into the center. Okay. He did manage to keep the uh, lower... Oh, right as I said it. He did manage to keep uh, him alive by taking out this guy. But then, of course, somebody stepped out and just shot him. Okay. Uh, is there anything... Like, what would I modify here? Um, we could be more aggressive with flashbangs. With... Actually, what might be really cool, instead of adding the additional clear check, can on Alpha, I throw this through the window to maybe help him out? And we'll see if uh, that does anything for us. I kind of wish... Like, I liked that he got there early enough to see him so that the fight would start, and we could kind of play a little bit of a defensive role. 
Yeah, that flash ring really serves no purpose. Oh, and he got shot from behind. And he got shot right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. A few things. So we do want to have him... Uh, we haven't encountered anybody being here at all. So let's have him paying more attention to that direction as he's walking up. And then... Additionally, okay, so when he was on his way in, he goes down. No, that's not right. On his way in, he goes up, and then he goes down, and then he comes back up. Okay. Let's, on his way back up, additionally add some stuff for that, uh, so that if there's anybody here, hopefully he takes them out. Maybe I do want to get rid of those initial uh, clear checks that are happening. Maybe they don't serve a purpose. Yeah, that's good. That's not so good. Alright, well, let's do away with these. Try to get him up there, and then he can start the fight early. And then... We'll give it just a few moments to see who wants to pop their head out. Maybe we can thin this herd a little while. Alpha, go. Okay. And I think we chose the exact wrong second to say go, considering uh, those two guys were in motion. Hmm. That's good. I really like seeing this guy get taken out uh, so that he's not going to be a potential threat. That feels really good. And then... Hmm, that corner's still a little dicey, as uh, you saw there. We got shot a couple of times. Oh, there's a hostage. There aren't supposed to be any hostages. Okay, and we man downed do over here. That door is probably going to be open like 90% of the time, right? Yeah. Okay. Very nice. That is definitely how we'd like that to go every time. Except then no one comes out to check on us? Hmm. Alpha, go. That flashbang is almost pointless, although it does help to kind of syncopate their time, which might be worthwhile on its own. Bravo, go. He's uninjured, but he is pretty severely injured. Good job. We're nice. Done here. Very nice. Uh, also, one thing I did notice. Um, let's see. So we got all the shards. We should be fine on that. Um, one thing I do want to point out. So I added this door kick uh, because this room didn't have windows on it. But then now it does. And this room doesn't have windows on it. So it seems something I've never noticed before. But Lock the... Let's do this. Windows themselves are randomized? Let's do this. Is that a thing? Lock and load. Let's do this. Or like did I Lock I lose my mind the first time and this was the door without windows? Man, if if I did that and that was always the room without windows, I'm gonna feel real silly. There we this. go. I caught it on camera. It did happen. Okay. That's actually really interesting. So the window placement can be randomized. Uh, that's news to me, certainly. Um, good to know. <laughs> it might affect how I plan out some future missions, so uh, that's certainly Abort something. Mission. And before we go, let's go ahead and check out the next mission is going to be Rescue at John Pitstop, where we do have an execution in play with the single hostage. Okay, fair enough. And then we've got a house call 
duo uh, to follow that up. So I may be losing my mind over the next couple of episodes. I hope you guys bear with me for that. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to subscribe to see more videos daily. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other videos. And I will catch you guys next time.